Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Maybe it's early. We may have more people join us uh, after they get done with the parking issues here. I'd like to welcome everybody to the People's Church of Divine Prophecy. Please silence your cell phones unless you're medical or law enforcement personnel. There's cold drinks in the fridge in the back, hot drinks on the table, restrooms down the hall that way. Help yourself at any time to all that. We're not real strong on ceremony here. We have uh, the rain like the candles symbolizing the unity of body, mind, and spirit to start the service. stand for the invocation and remain standing for the first thing. Join in an attitude of prayer. Dear Father God, we give thanks for this moment in time here. May we embrace the peace and love that is present for us. May we set aside all that has driven us to be here, all that we have waiting when we leave here. And be here now in this moment of peace and harmony and hope that is given to us through your grace. Amen. Amen. Number 11, peace like a river. Now came to me this week was, you know, you just get so overwhelmed sometimes about some of life's circumstances, whether it's your own or somebody else's that you're involved in, and it just gets really to a point to where you're just at a standstill and don't know what the heck to do with it. And sometimes people give up. Sometimes people stay engaged in the wrong action. Sometimes they end up taking their lives over it. And as a medium, I work with people whose family members have done that. I have people call me and tell me they're on the verge of doing that. And it all stems from the same state of being. 
It's a complete loss of a conscious connection to God in your life. A complete sense of helplessness about the world around you. And when you're connected to your spirit, there's always hope of some sort. Even if you're emotionally distraught, and that's what's on top of your mind, if you daily have a conscious connection to God and spirit, that will that will temper it to a certain degree where it doesn't get overwhelming to where you can't function. Albert Einstein has a saying that doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is a definition of insanity. I got that on the bottom of all my emails that I send out at work. I deal with contractors and construction people all the time. I get a lot of comments about that, but I believe that to be true. If you're running at something and it's not working and it's not being solved, you have to stop and think of a different way to go at it, a different approach, a different attitude. And that usually comes in through meditation and through direct inspiration from spirit because our conscious mind can only operate off of what it's experienced. It can only operate off of what the senses are telling us. We have to go to a source outside of our own conscious mind you get thoughts that aren't that will work. The other side of that is that sometimes doing the right thing at the right time is what's needed. A lot of times as human beings we get frustrated and want to do something at the wrong time. Spirit involvement, spirit inspiration allows you to do the right thing at the right time. And that's the indication of spirit involvement is timing when the other person is at that point in creation where it's going to work for them, where you're at that point in time in creation with that person where what you say or do is going to work. It all comes together from a higher purpose than just you telling somebody. Too many times when we tell somebody, it begins to be this personal contest back and forth, no matter how well we represent ourselves. But when it's that spiritual timing, it's the right time. And somebody who constantly counters you on and on and on when it's the right time and you said the same thing, they get quiet because it's finally been heard. I got a picture that somebody sent me that I've shown around the church here a little bit today. And it's a picture of this policeman on a zip line and he's got his police dog hanging on to his leg with both paws. And you look at the dog's face and it's this perplexed look on the dog's face like, what the heck did I get myself into this time? And sometimes I ask myself that when I look around, you know. And it happens to be usually when spirits told me this is what you need to do and I go, I can't really believe that. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> More than you could imagine is the worst that can happen. So we need to kind of take our time, listen to Spirit, and believe what it tells us. Whether you believe it's God speaking to you directly, whether you believe in intermediaries, angels, guides, deceased loved ones, saviors, it doesn't matter, saints, it doesn't matter what you believe is giving you that information from the higher source. It all feels the same. It's simple, it's direct, and doesn't need a lot of explanation. Once you get that thing to do, your mind immediately begins to have a million reasons why not to do it or how to do it differently. But the spirit-inspired thought stays the same. It never varies from what you've been told to do by that spiritual inspiration. So that's an indication of which side of the mind you're using, the spirit side or the physical side. The physical side keeps trying to justify, change, and adapt it, where the truth stays constant. It never varies. It always comes back the same. And it's usually really simple. And I usually say it can't be that simple. It is. Because it's said to you in the perspective of your eternal life. And it is that simple. If you can step aside from the immediacy of now, it is that simple. Thank you for listening. We stand for the next step. Number four, <clears throat>
this is the healing portion. I've asked Charlie and Linda to do healing today. So take your places up there. The way this works is that Ashkin's going to do a guided meditation. Uh, during meditation, contact healing will be taking place over there. You'll hear this, which means their chairs have become vacant, usually in the back back there, where you can go have a seat, and I'll move you up so you can get a healing. That way you can enjoy the meditation and the contact healing if you so choose to participate in both. Um, we'll start this part of the service by reading on the back of the hymnal, the prayer for spiritual healing in bold. <coughs> I ask the great unseen healing force to remove all obstructions from my mind and body and to restore me to perfect health. I ask this in all sincerity and honesty, and I will do my part. I ask this great unseen healing force to help both present and absent ones who are in need of help and to restore them to perfect health. I put my trust in the love and power of God. We wish to have a healing and take the seats here and the three in the back. You can go ahead and move towards those chairs. Nobody wants healing today. <laughs> okay. I do. Good morning. Good morning. Get ready for the meditation. Find a comfortable position to sit. Feet straight on the floor, palms up in your lap. Just sit relaxed. Close your eyes. Taking a few deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. With your exhale, let go if there is any tension in your physical body. of the thoughts that are occupying your mind. When you exhale, just breathe it out. Let it go for now. Bring your attention to your breath. your entire body.
that is taking you deeper and deeper within yourself. true state of your being. Embrace this peaceful aspect of yourself and just be. Be still within. Do not let anything to interfere or interrupt. Regardless of what goes around in your life, embrace the systems. For it is in the systems that you sense moments. It is in the silence. And the quietness. You feel content. Content with who you are. You are an infinite being, a multi dimensional being. Embrace this infinite. forehead 
as you look through your third eye. Envision a beam of golden light coming straight to your forehead from the divine source. Entering through your forehead and spreading gently in and around your forehead. Circulating at the top of your head. Healing and clearing your mental body. Release and let go of all the thoughts, the beliefs that are limiting your highest potential. Let go of the thoughts that are interfering with your spiritual growth. Feel this golden light in the form of healing energy. Healing and clearing your mental body. Enhancing your creativity. And awakening the divine knowledge and wisdom within your soul and spirit. See this golden energy flowing down to your neck, your throat, down to your shoulders, extending to your arms. divine healing energy flowing throughout your body healing cleansing clearing the blockages just follow the energy that is moving down to your knees
while you are observing, you recognize some of those feelings. Some of them feel near and close to you. Make an eye contact. Connect with that spiritual being that you feel drawn to. Get to know this is your spirit guide in the higher realms that is always around you. To provide you with the support, the guidance, the help that you need. Take a minute and interact with your spirit guide and get to know. There are hosts of angels floating around. Their beautiful colors are filling around you. You see a beautiful red color coming to your root chakra, healing and balance. You will see a beam of orange color. To your emotional body, healing and balance. A flow of beautiful yellow energies coming to your solar plexus, empowering you, giving you the strength that you need, the self confidence to accomplish your goals, to manifest and materialize your thoughts, your intentions that serves your highest good and the highest good of all. Beautiful rays of green coming to your heart shine. your heart chakra, clearing the blockages from your heart chakra, and opening your heart to God's unconditional love and compassion. Feel your heart chakra expanding. Where you are able to give love, and receive love again. Next you'll see a beautiful shade of blue energies coming to your throat chakra. Clearing and balancing your throat chakra. And giving you the courage to speak up your divine truth. Beautiful shades of light blue turquoise colors coming to your forehead, to your third eye. And activating your third eye to its full potential. Where you are able to see and connect with the spiritual realms anytime you choose. Beautiful 
beautiful violet flames coming in with Saint Germain to your crown chakra, healing and balancing your mental body. Clearing the blockages, all the negative thoughts, and inducing with positive affirmations, infinite creativity, healers and 
cash control. The fact that yours and the energy provided, channel and spirit kind of fashion. Now you can't get that. It's the way today's bed, it's either all or none. Is <laughs> that better? Yes. Okay. I don't know what changed between the time I sat down and the time I stood up, but something changed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a healing Charlie gave me, <laughs> charged me up there. <laughs> Please stand for the next step. Number one, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you. 